the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 1, and it reads, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Shalom, shalom, akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a few scriptures. Uh, and share a short clip with you, Akiyam and Akwaf. Uh, going in the spirit of prophecy. You know, and as, as Akiyam and Akwaf know. Uh, one of the major prophecies uh, that are to come to pass is the destruction of Mystery Babylon the Great via World War III through the weapons of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's indignation, which consists of the intercontinental ballistic missiles, commonly known as ICBMs. And no matter what this man does to try and avoid uh, you know, this uh, day of doom. It's going to come to pass. Why? Because it's written. The words of the Lord will not return unto him void. But they're going to accomplish <laughs> to wherever he sent them. Roughly paraphrasing, man. So this damn demon, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, and his kingdom have a date with destiny. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, let's read the book of Joel, the second chapter and the first verse again before I grab this video. And it reads, the book of Joel chapter 2 and verse 1, and it reads, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. And this is what the men of the Lord are doing. That you see on the highways and byways throughout all four corners of the earth. Starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. And the like-minded men coming in the same spirit. We're blowing the trumpet. We're telling you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that all hell's about to break loose. Okay? We're telling you that famine is coming. Jacob's trouble's around the corner. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man's gonna, gonna send his military in here, his super soldiers. We're telling you that silver, there's gonna be civil unrest. We're telling you you're gonna you're gonna get put in FEMA uh, FEMA camps, detention, you know, uh, uh, concentration camps, these detention centers. Okay, you're being warned of these things. You're being told to turn back to the Holy One of Israel in spirit and in truth, so you can have a covering in these days that are to come. Because contrary to popular belief. It's Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, who you people ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ, that is going to send these scourges. And you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that refuse to turn back and repent and get cleaned up from the inside out, you're going to be devoured by your own devices, man. And you're going to be consumed by the sword of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Continuing on, let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. This is Dabu 7. We have Russia throwing some accusations out there that some are saying are pretty wild. But they're saying, hold up, it's not wild, they have proof. And what they're doing is they're taking these Ukrainian soldiers that they've captured. 
They're taking blood from them. They're testing them. And they're coming to find out that these guys are what they're calling mutant type of soldiers. Meaning that they've had some kind of chemical concoction, some kind of new age drug concoction injected into their system. And they believe, Russia's saying that they believe that a lot of the biolab stuff that's going on within Ukraine is connected to this as well. And that these are like zombies running around. Dudes jacked up as high as they can get on whatever they're injecting them with. Now, they say that they're seeing a lot of weird signs in connection with this, with hepatitis being tied into it. And all in all, they're saying that when they witness these guys battling on the battlefield, you hear stories about guys getting shot multiple times and just keep coming at you like a zombie. That's what's happening. Dude's getting limbs blown off and still coming at the Russian soldiers and they're freaking out. Russian soldiers on the front lines have been caught doing a lot of crazy stuff too because they don't want to be there. Shooting themselves to get off the front line, booby trapping their own equipment. It doesn't seem like anyone wants to be fighting this war except for the globalist, except for the beast itself because it's nothing but Everyday people at the bottom rungs getting churned up and spit out throughout this whole thing. That's right. And Russia keeps saying that this is happening because the United States is making it happen. So all these threats, all these warnings Russia's thrown out there about attacking the enemy like lightning. If you get caught arming Ukraine, they're going to hit you like lightning. What do you think is going to happen? For how many years have they baited the American populace with Russia, Russia, Russia? Come on now. Something huge is going to come here in the offing sooner than later. And this area very well may see a mini nuke or a mushroom cloud of sorts of something. I really feel like the biggest moves in this region have not been seen yet. But this is some of the latest. Russia is saying that it's losing because of experimental mutant troops coming their way left and right. Well, I'll break this down further on the next live stream. Make sure to join me. Go on live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. You'll find links below. Hit that subscribe button for more. It's been Dabu7. See that? He's right. Something is coming. And it's not going to be a mini nuke. <laughs> There's going to be many nukes. And it's going to be a thermonuclear fallout. See? And of course, uh, 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 Babylon the Great's on the forefront when it comes to uh, these super soldiers that supposedly you, the Ukraine is using against Russia, man. <laughs> of course. Of course, Babylon the Great has super soldiers. This is the hammer of the earth. They're behind the whole thing, man. See? And these same super soldiers are going to be in a city near you. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And they're going to run through your your your, your rusty uh, uh, 45 cal, all right? your outdated sawed-off shotgun, okay? And, and you're intermittently jamming uh, uh, assault rifle, man. See? These super, these super soldiers are going to run right through you, Jake. If you ain't got your Hawa Ba'a Shimmy Hawa Shai and the angels encamping around you, you're finished. You see? <laughs> and this is a build-up. This is all going to be a build-up to the great and terrible day of the Lord come. You see, this is going to be a build. Man, so let's go to, uh, Lord willing, we'll come back to the book of Joel. But let's go to Zephaniah real quick. Zephaniah, the first chapter. And I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at the 14th verse and it reads, The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord 
The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. You see? So you 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 want to be gangsters, you want to be mobsters. All right, all you tough guys. All right, you 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 brawlers, right? You MMA fighters, boxers, right? You military. You see cuz at the end of the day, <laughs> when you how about Shimmy Alshai cracks these clouds, even those super soldiers are going to cry there bitterly. When they see the power of all heavens and all earth come through the atmosphere, man. You see? But it's going to be a build-up to that moment. You see? It's going to be a build-up to it. Starting with you, Jake, crying there bitterly. When these, when these uh, uh, super soldiers run into your city, man, and run into your town, okay? When they come through your way. Yeah, because it's going to happen. Hey, martial law is going to be declared, Jake. And if you don't got Yahweh by Shimmy Shai, once again, you through, man. You're going, to be, you're going to be out of there. You see, you're going to be minced meat. And you're going to, and not, and we're not even mentioning the famine and the pestilence, you know, the civil unrest, you know, neighbors invading one another. You know, it's going to be hectic, man. It's going to be all hell breaking loose, man. You're going to wish you can give up the ghost. But Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai is not going to let you, man. You're going to wish you can die. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. In, um, in Revelations, the ninth chapter. In the sixth verse, I'm going to go straight to the point. And it reads, and in those days, what days? The days of the Lord, man. <laughs> Which were in the beginning stages of them. You see? But when this thing reaches its climax, let's continue on. And in those days shall men seek death. You see that? And shall not find it. And shall desire to die. And death shall flee from them. <laughs> Scripture says death is going to flee from you, man. You're going to have... Scripture says you're going to suffer in your torments, man. See, we're dealing with the Father of Spirits. All man's goings are of the Lord. You see? This is why Scripture says what it says. This is why it says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's not written just to sound cool, man. It's about to get horrific out here for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. For everybody, but for major for mainly for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is why it's called Jacob's Trouble. You see, because these troubles that are gonna come upon the planet Earth are gonna rest upon you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You see, you're the target. You're the target, Jake. See? Yeah? But you don't see it that way. You see, let's go back. You don't see it that way. And it's going to very well cost you your life in the most grievous way. Continuing on in the book of Zephaniah. Chapter 1 and verse 15. And it reads, that day is a day of wrath. What day? The day of the Lord. Okay. That day is a day of wrath. A day of trouble and distress. A day of wasteness and desolation. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness, right? And in its climax, what's going to cause that wasteness and desolation? That darkness and gloominess and clouds thick of darkness. What's going to cause that? Those icy beam missiles, man. <laughs> that great people, the weapons of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's indignation. Matter of fact, let's go back to the book of Joel now. Let's go back to the book of Joel, the second chapter, and continue on. Salakia, let me turn this off. This is the devil. The book of Joel, chapter 2. 
And I'm going to start from verse 1 again. Blow the book of Joel chapter 2 and verse 1. And it reads, Blow ye the trumpet and Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Who's the Lord's holy mountain? Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You see? But the, you two-thirds don't want to hear the alarm. You don't want to take heed to the warning. So guess what? You're going to get caught up in your own folly. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Verse 2, a day of darkness and of gloominess. A day of clouds and of the darkness as as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people and a strong. There have not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. And this great people is talking about the ICBM missiles which is going to turn mystery babylon great mystery babylon the great into a thermonuclear wasteland you see and let's prove let's continue on to prove that right verse three a dev a devour salakia a fire devoureth before them see and behind them a flame burneth right that fire that devoureth before them are those uh, warheads, man. Each of these missiles can hold pff, multiple warheads. Okay? And that's that fire that the vow with before them. You see, and behind them, a flame burneth. That's the projectile system, man. You see? That's going to get them from continent to continent. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, right? Peaceful, beautiful, right? And behind them, a desolate wilderness. Because when they touch down, there's nothing but destruction they leave behind, man. Yeah, and nothing shall escape. You see, nothing's going to escape these ICBM missiles when they touch down on Babylon the Great and other areas of the world as well. The only ones that are going to escape the missiles of the Lord to fulfill biblical prophecy are the elite of the nations. Why? Because they're going to be the first fruit to go into captivity under the rulership of Yasha Allah. Okay, with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai leading the charge, King David under him, the 12 disciples, and the 144,000 men that stood so stiffly on this side for the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, they're going to be the first to go into to, 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 to fetters of iron, chains and shackles, man. They're going to be sought out according to biblical prophecy, man. And that's the only reason why they're going to be able to escape uh, uh, the, these missiles, man. You see? And the only other ones that are going to be able to escape are the elect of Israel, man. You see? And we can prove that if we go to the book of Nahum. The elective Israel that are preserved up until this moment are the only ones that are going to be able to escape these missiles other than the elite of these nations, man. You see? And it's going to be for their hurt. <laughs> but needless to say, right? Nahum chapter 1. And I'm going to start at, let me see. I'm going to start at verse 6. The book of Nahum, chapter 1 and verse 6, and it reads, Who can stand before his indignation? And who can abide in the fierceness of his anger? His fury is poured out like fire. And the rocks are thrown down by him. 
You see, this is the power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You see, who can stand before his indignation? No one, man. <laughs> no one. And who can abide in his face in the fastness of his anger? No one. You see? No one at all. Verse 7, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. And who are the only ones that trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? Those of the hopeful elect. Those of us that have rehearsed in righteous acts and that have turned from our iniquities wholeheartedly and have committed ourselves to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai and put everything after him. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai comes first before anything in our lives, man. And we understand that he's our, he's our buckler, man. Without Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we're through. And through obedience, through obedience, okay, we show our faith. And through our works, <laughs> it, it, it pretty much glues it all together, man. You see? And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai knows who those individuals are, man. You know, those spirits, you know, were, uh, you know, pre preordained uh, from the beginning of the world, man. You see? And those specific spirits move in a certain way within their captivity. Whether you're in, whether you're in Babylon the Great or wherever else the hopeful elect is scattered. The hopeful elect moves in a different uh, fashion. You see? And Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai knows who they are, man. And they put their trust in Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai wholeheartedly you see those are the only ones that are going to be able to uh, escape you see those ICBM missiles man because <laughs> according to biblical prophecy that's Akiyam and Akwath no those elect are going to be beamed into chariots man and only with their eyes are they going to see the, the destruction of the wicked man Lord willing, we're part of that precious number to see that moment, man. Lord willing. Right? Continuing on. But with an overrunning flood, he will make an utter end of the place thereof. Right? Mystery Babylon the Great. And darkness shall pursue his enemies. You see? Starting with Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, his arch enemy. Our arch enemy. <laughs> The arch enemy of Israel. You don't believe me? Read the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is the arch enemy of Israel. And this is why Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai has him in his crosshairs. And Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is going to turn Mystery Babylon the Great into a lake of fire. Via the ICBM missiles. And we could prove that if we go to the book of Jeremiah, the 50th chapter. And I'll start, I'll start at the 22nd verse, and it reads A sound of the book of Jeremiah, chapter 50, and verse 22, and it reads A sound of battle. It's in the land and of great destruction, right? I just shared that clip with you, Akiyam and Akwath from Dabu 7. Even he can feel that something's coming. He even said mushroom cloud, man. He mentioned uh, a small, uh, <laughs> what do you say, a small nuke. See, he's not the only one that can feel that. These these mere mortals that 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 have no idea what's going on when it comes to the true word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they could feel it in their spirit, though. You see? Why? Because you can clearly Google an article on World War III where Putin's talking about he can send two Satan twos and take out the whole coastline. You see? Ukraine and Russia going at it. 
all these other situations happening all over the world. World War Three is imminent. You see? It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Let's read this again. The book of Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 22. And it reads, A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. You see? Verse 23. How is the hammer of the whole earth cut asunder and broken? And who's the hammer of the whole earth? Mystery Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. Why? What other country has a garrison, which is an army barracks, right? And every, damn near every other country on the, on the, on the planet, man. Uh, and again, if they're, if they're uh, not in use, it doesn't matter. It's still erected there, man. It can be activated uh, in an instant. You see? Why is, why is Mystery Babylon the Great the only one that has all that? Because this is the hammer of the earth. You see? And how is it going to be cut asunder and broken? By the ICBM missiles via World War III. World War III. <laughs> Where they're going to be through. See, that's the spirit. <laughs> You know, through World War Three, and they're gonna where they're gonna be through. You see, when Gog and Magog and these other BRICS nations and even those of his own confederacy uh, uh, shoot at this whore, man, and they're gonna spare no arrows, man, according to biblical prophecy. How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations, man? <laughs> And it's going to be because of those intercontinental ballistic missiles. Verse 24. I have laid a snare for thee, which is a trap, right? And thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou was not aware. Thou art found and also caught. Why? Because thou hast striven against the Lord. You see? This place has striven against the Lord. These devils do everything in their power to oppose our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And this is not talking about uh, uh, ancient Babylon, man, for you unbelievers. All right, make sense of this thing. All right, ancient Babylon would have been what? Modern day, what's that? Uh, uh, Iraq. Yeah, modern day Iraq. Uh, uh, Babylon will be mined. Iraq is still erected. There's still people living in Iraq, man. See? This is talking about mystery Babylon the Great. Okay? Revelation 17. The abomination of the earth. Okay? This is talking about AKA America, man. If you can believe it or not. Okay? If you can believe it or not. Let's continue on. Verse 25, and here's the point. The Lord hath opened his armory. And what consists of his armory? Those intercontinental ballistic missiles. Yeah, we're going to keep saying it. Okay? Because these are the weapons of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah's egg nation, as we're going to read. Okay, these are the these 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 weapons are a critical part. Uh, of biblical prophecy, man. You know, and it's not like they got to be built, you know, and they're still designing them. They got blueprints and they got to put them together. No, they're sitting in silos, man, waiting to get launched to their final destination. You see? <laughs> they're just waiting. The day of the Lord is at hand. This thing is right around the corner. Let's continue on. I'm going to read this from the top. The book of Jeremiah chapter 50 and verse 25. And it reads, the Lord hath opened his armory. See, these are the Lord's weapons, man. He created the smith that blows the coals and the fire, man. This is this is the works of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And hath brought forth the weapons 
of his indignation, right? Of his righteous anger. For this is the work of the Lord, power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans, which is the Edomites. Okay, the Chaldeans is the Edomites. Yahweh Ba Shemi Shai is about to visit Mystery Babylon the Great with great destruction, man. And this is why, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, starting with the elders and apostles on down, and us like minded men, we're blowing the trumpet, trying to warn you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But you refuse to hearken. So guess what? You're going to get caught up in a wrath. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakak with us. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath were edified. Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai. Kahalayim la Yahawa Baha Shem Yahawa Shai Baha Shem Rakak Wadash Shalom Akiyam